Sir Isaac Newton figures in the story of the return of the God hypothesis in a number of ways. Newton's science is often presented by uh, science popularizers as providing the basis of a me mechanistic, materialistic worldview that has no room for God in it. Uh, and this, this uh, take on Newton was uh, conveyed to a wide television audience by Neil deGrasse Tyson in his 13-part Cosmos series uh, recently. But actually, nothing could be further from the truth. Newton was uh, profoundly theistic in his worldview. In fact, during my time as a PhD student in Cambridge, I was doing a tutorial on Newton's work on the theory of universal gravitation. And my British supervisor said, if you miss Newton's theism, you've missed everything. And uh, you can see his theistic worldview right in his scientific works, in his uh, uh, general scolium to the Principia, an epilogue that he attached to later editions of his original work. He argued that the fine-tuning of the planets and comets and sun, are, of the fine-tuning of our solar system, provided evidence for an intelligent and powerful being, he said. And in other works of science, his optics, for example, he made a very sophisticated design argument based not only on the, the intricacy of the design of the eye, but based also on the way in which the eye anticipated the properties of light. In addition to that, Newton thought that gravity had an, there, there was something mysterious about gravity that couldn't be explained by any materialistic explanation. Namely, that the force of gravity is transmitted through a distance without any material interaction between the bodies. The moon, after all, exerts a force on planet Earth that moves the water in what we call tidal action, yet the moon is not touching the, our, our planet. And this mysterious action at a distance, uh, uh, Newton thought, was evidence of uh, of what one of my Cambridge supervisors called constant spirit action. It was evidence of God sustaining the orderly concourse of nature in an invisible way. So Newton had a profound theistic philosophy of science, and he also thought and, and saw evidence of the existence of God in, in the, the different scientific systems and the different natural systems that he studied.